Ruben Neves to take this corner for us. Decent delivery. Saul with the header and it's in. Let's go guys. We've taken the lead in under 7 minutes. It's Saul with the header. Finds Usman Dembele now. Dembele cutting this one back to Marcus Rush, but it's too easy. As United make it 2-0 against Man City. We are dominating this game. Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to episode number 19 of the Manchester United Career Mode series. In today's episode, we're going to be making the biggest signing we've ever made in this Manchester United Career Mode. Bringing back Cristiano Ronaldo to Manchester United. Can we pull this off? Let's find out. So far, Season 2 has been very kind to us in terms of transfers. We've brought in Umtiti and Jao Cancelo to improve our defence. And now it's time to improve our front line with hopefully Cristiano Ronaldo. Last episode, we dispatched Man City 3-0 winning the Community Shield, our first trophy of the season. But the real business starts now as we've got Premier League action soon. And also, that game against Man City, a Manchester derby in the Premier League coming soon. That should be massive. Lots to go down in today's episode and if you guys are hyped make sure to show your support by dropping a like in the video 1000 likes would be absolutely fantastic your support on this series has just been unbelievable let's keep it going and subscribe for more fifa 19 career mode content last episode i asked you guys whether we should bring back cristiano ronaldo to manchester united there were over 1300 comments on the previous episode you guys were going crazy with this decision and it seems like you guys want Ronaldo back at Man United, so let's try and make that possible before we do anything else in today's episode. Ronaldo right now, 92 rated, valued at about 60 million pounds. Let's see how much is he going to cost. So I'm starting off with a 70 million pound offer for Ronaldo. I think Real Madrid sold him for about 85 million pounds or something along those lines. So if we can get him for 70, well, that's not happening, guys. It looks like we need to dish out at least 100 million for a 34-year-old. But guess what? We have the fun. So let's try and make this possible. It's Ronaldo, guys. I haven't used him in any of my career mode series in a long time. So let's bring him in. So there you go. 100 million pounds for Cristiano Ronaldo. And that's a done deal. Now time for the contract negotiations. So this is what I'm offering Cristiano Ronaldo. A crucial squad role. Three-year contract length. 320,000 pounds in wages per week. And of course, a 1 million pound signing bonus. Let's see if that's enough. And hopefully it is. Well, he does want a bit of an interesting contract offer. I'm going to remove the gold bonus and just offer him this exact offer. Let's see what he comes back and says. He wants a big bump. So 310. I'm not complaining. I feel like this is still a good offer. He was getting paid more at Juve. So there you go, guys. It's done. We've actually signed Cristiano Ronaldo and he makes his return to Old Trafford. So this is Cristiano Ronaldo we're talking about. Of course, we're going to give him the number seven jersey. Now, the question is, what do we do with Dembele then? What kit number should we give Usman Dembele? For now, he's wearing the number 12 jersey. But what I'm thinking is to give Dembele number 11 and then Martial number 9. You guys can let me know, but Ronaldo is definitely having that 7 jersey. Here is the unveiling, guys. Cristiano Ronaldo making his move to Manchester United. Have a look at that, guys. I genuinely can't wait to see how he performs now at United. Going to be playing a different role for us. He was a winger during his previous tenure at United, but now he's going to be an out-and-out -out striker for us. And look at those stats. The composure, the finishing, the jumping. I expect a lot of headers from Ronaldo this season, that's for sure. It is now time for the press conference and if you guys want to get involved, make sure to drop in your questions down in the comment section below. First question of the day, will you consider signing Andre Onana if Sergio Romero does leave? So we have transfer listed Sergio Romero because he just doesn't want to stay at Man United. We haven't been able to give him game time, so it just makes sense to let him go. But instead of signing a keeper to rot on the bench or be in the reserves, because David De Gea is going to play most of the games. What I'm going to do is use Dean Henderson as backup. He's 75 rated, he's 22, he's got good potential and it just makes sense to use him as backup so we won't be signing a new keeper. We'll just be using this guy, Dean Henderson, as our backup. I think it's a good choice, he's English as well, so yeah. Next question, would you consider loaning out Angel Gomez for him to grow? Honestly guys, I'm not so sure about that. I feel like Angel Gomez does have a part to play here at Manchester United. Imagine an injury to Neves, Pogba, Fred, Pereira, either one of them. Then Angel Gomez can prove to be a very important backup player. He's 76 rated, he's 18, so no way I'm loaning him out, at least for now. 
Next question, would you consider changing the formation to a 4-2-3-1? Not really, because the current formation that we are using, a 4-4-1-1, is basically a more aggressive 4-2-3-1. You've got your two midfielders, box-to-box -box mids and Neves and Saul. Then you've got your three attacking mids and, of course, your striker. So there's no real need for us to switch to a 4-2-3-1 as long as this works. But with Cristiano Ronaldo joining us, new doors have opened and I'm considering using a 4-4-2 formation. Turning back time to the old Salix Ferguson days and this is a formation that could really work out well for us you know having both Ronaldo and Rashford on the pitch together I'm eager to see what this formation does for us and I might try that out in today's episode itself. That's it for today's press conference, let's move on. Player of the episode this time around goes to Marcus Rashford who scored a brace in the last episode against City in the Community Shield final. So of course you guys voted for him and there you go, Rashford wins the player of the episode award. Last episode there was a big discussion also in the comments about Jesse Lingard whether we should sell him or not. So it seems like a lot of you guys want me to keep Lingard because he is a bit for hero for United fans and you know what I'm not gonna sell Jesse Lingard he's gonna be a great option coming off the bench and we're gonna keep him at least for now we'll see what to do with him in the January transfer window if he's not performing but for now I think I'm done with transfers our team is looking good we've got players everywhere you know quality players everywhere and in case we need to make another signing we still have about a couple of weeks or so but for now I'm content with the players we have season goals are back and there were a ton of suggestions from you guys on what season goals should we try and accomplish over the course of this season and these are the six I've chosen keep in mind if we fail to complete at least three out of these six objectives we're gonna have to do a forfeit which we will be deciding very soon so these are the six season goals. The first objective that we do have, record breaker. Break Mo Salah's 32 goals in a Premier League season record. That's probably the most difficult objective we've got here. I mean, to score 33 goals with a single player is going to be insanely difficult. But with us having Cristiano Ronaldo and even Marcus Rashford, we might just be able to do that. Theatre of Dreams, we had this objective last season, but we failed to complete it. Hopefully this time around, we'll be able to do so. Avoid losing at home in the Premier League. Keeping it clean. Keep 18 clean sheets in the Premier League this season. This is an objective returning from last season which we failed to complete. With us signing Umtiti and Jao Cancelo, our defence is much better and hopefully that means we'll be able to complete this objective this time around. Next objective that we do have is building for the future. Give the youngsters a total of 60 appearances this season and by youngsters I mean any player that's in the squad aged 20 or younger. You know the likes of Upamecano, Dalo, Jao Felix, Chong, Angel Gomez, Greenwood, etc. And we need to get a combined total of 60 appearances with these youngsters, giving youth a chance. This one's all about Cristiano Ronaldo, Mr. Champions League. Win the Champions League golden boot with Cristiano Ronaldo. We've brought him in to, you know, achieve success in the Champions League. Can he win the golden boot once again? Hopefully yes, so that we can complete the objective. The next objective is certainly something different to what we have normally done, the French connection. Score or assist a total of 80 goals with French players. We do have four quality French players in the squad at this moment, in the first team itself to be honest. Pogba, Umtiti, Dembele and Martial. So 80 goal contributions amongst the four of them and that'll have us done with that objective. So these are the six season goals we're going to try and complete. Let's see if we can complete all of them. It's finally time for some gameplay action as the Premier League starts now as Ronaldo will be making his debut for us. Can't wait to see how he performs. Let's get right into it guys. Our first Premier League game of the season away against Watford. Cristiano Ronaldo is making his return for Man United in the Premier League and also we're trying out a brand new formation, the 4-4-2. I'm eager to see how this works out for us in the Premier League. Ronaldo and Rashford playing together, that certainly should mean a ton of goals for us. That's our team, let's get the win. Marcus Rashford and we're on the counter-attack, here's Cristiano Ronaldo, does he have the pace? That's the question, he's quick enough to get into a one-on-one -on -one situation, Ronaldo shoots and Cristiano Ronaldo scores on his debut. That's what he does guys, he gets us the goal, his return to Manchester United with a goal as well. 1-0 against Watford and Ronaldo opens his account or resumes his Manchester United account with a goal in under 12 minutes. A fantastic finish and what a counter-attack this was. Marcus Rashford with the assist and maybe Ronaldo Rashford is a combo that we're going to have to use a lot this season. Oh, come on. We've just given away a chance to Andre Gray and there you go. Our clean sheet has just gone for a toss and Watford have equalized again. Terrible defending there and we've just given away an easy goal to Watford 
And yeah, that's about it. We need to try and score soon because I don't want to be dropping points on match day one itself. Oh, we might be giving away another chance to our opponents and this is turning out to be embarrassing guys. Awful defending there from Luke Shaw as Watford have scored a second. Our job in this game now is a lot more difficult. We need to score now two goals. Well guys, this is not turning out well at all. I mean, off the crossbar there, the hair should catch that. What's going on here? Our defense is just not doing anything in this game. Usman Dembele bringing it inside now, Marcus Rashford, go on Rashford, what a chance this is for the Englishman, gets the shots off and oh my god, so unlucky there, that's a big chance wasted. Here we go guys, on the attack now, come on, we need to try and do something with this attack, Marcus Rashford cutting this one back for Dembele, now Ronaldo who shoots, he shoots again. It's just not working out for us in this second half. Watford still lead. Inside to Usman Dembele who shoots and that's insane from of course the Watford keeper Ronaldo putting in a cross. Usman Dembele. How's he missed that? I thought it was in. No freaking way guys. What a cross from Ronaldo and then Dembele just smashing it in but just wide. Dembele chipping this one to Rashford. Oh my god we've gotten lucky here. Here goes Marcus Rashford. What a chance this is for Rashford. Gets the shot off and off the post and we've missed on the rebound. What on earth was that? I cannot believe we've actually lost this game. We created a tremendous amount of chances especially in that second half. Things just didn't work out for us and there you go. A shock defeat on match day one in the Prem. Hopefully this result doesn't come back and haunt us come end of season. Transfer offer coming in for Anthony Martial for £80 million. Pounds. I'm not selling Martial guys. He's one of the stars of this series. He's only 23 and no way I'm selling him to a rival. So we're going to reject this offer. McTominay has been sold to Besiktas. The fact that we might be switching to a 4-4-2 formation for the few games means that McTominay won't be getting enough game time regardless. So selling him seems to be the right option. I find this really funny guys. PSG coming in for Marcus Rashford after what he did to them with that stone cold penalty in the 90th minute. Anyways, we're not going to be selling Rashford of course, so let's reject this offer. The top three deals in this window, Ronaldo to Man United, Umtiti to Man United, Jao Cancelo to Man United, we mean serious business this season. Never thought I'd see this, Manchester United in 15th place in the Premier League, but it's only one game, we now play hardest field at Old Trafford, let's get back to winning ways. I really want to see this 4-4-2 formation work well for us because it has both Ronaldo and Rashford on the same pitch so we're gonna give it another go I know it didn't work against Watford but maybe that was just a one-off bad performance so let's hope it works well against Huddersfield at home at Old Trafford no excuses we need to win Marcus Rashford I want Ronaldo to make the run he has made the run here goes Cristiano Ronaldo what a chance for him and he scored once again guys his second Premier League goal of the season Look at him and Rashford do these celebrations together. Absolutely fantastic. Another Rashford assist and another Cristiano Ronaldo goal going near post this time around. What a finish this is and what a start to this game. Here's Marcus Rashford on the attack now. La Croqueta out wide to Usman Dembele. What can Dembele do from here? Goes for the shot and that's absolutely brilliant from Usman Dembele. The Frenchman makes it 2-0 against Huddersfield. That's what I was talking about guys. If we can make this 4-4-2 formation work, we're going to score a shit ton of goals this season. It's Man United 2, Huddersfield 0. And have a look at that for a finish. Rashford again with the assist. But this was not really an assist though. It was all Usman Dembele. Here we go guys on the attack. Dembele finding Marcus Rashford. Another chance for us to score. Cutting this one back to Cristiano Ronaldo who scores on his second attempt. As there you go. It is 3-0. Cristiano Ronaldo with of course his third goal in the Premier League and there you go he's doing his classic celebration a simple goal but one that makes it 3-0. 3-0 and the game is practically done so let's bring on Ruben Neves for Saul. Huddersfield with a chance now Aaron Moy getting the shot off I, I genuinely don't know what to do guys I mean defensively it's it's really shambolic but you know what for this goal, I can't really even blame my defense because it was just a moment of magic from Aaron Moy. I doubt we'll be able to keep 18 clean sheets this season at this rate. Like, we are basically conceding a goal against every team. Oh, Ronaldo might be on for his hat-trick here. He gets the shot off and that's in. Cristiano Ronaldo with a hat-trick. Some of you guys were telling that he's too old to play for Manchester United now and it doesn't make sense to sign him. But there you go. He's responding to his critics in the best way he knows, scoring a hat-trick and now his fourth goal in the Premier League. 
Doesn't seem like Huddersfield have a chance now in this one. It's 4-1 against them. Ruben Neves sliding this one through to Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo with a couple of skill moves there. Oh my god, that's absolutely sensational. Ronaldo has just scored four goals in a single game. That's the first time in this series. Cristiano Ronaldo is back in the Premier League and he's scoring a shit ton of goals. Like, have a look at that for a goal. We need to look at that replay, guys, because the skill move he did there was just sensational. Like, the run and stop move there and then the skill move to beat his man. And of course, the finish was class. That's Ronaldo at his best. And there you go, guys. Our first win in the Premier League this season. And it really was the Cristiano Ronaldo show at Old Trafford. Scoring four goals in a single game. That's absolutely brilliant, guys. I mean, that's why we've brought him in for £100 million. And I think he's worth every penny, guys. Can't wait to see his numbers come end of season. So this is very interesting. Man City have shown interest in Sergio Romero. Now, of course, we don't really need him now. Dean Henderson is going to be back up. So I'm going to sell him. I know it's still a rival, but I mean, let's be honest. Is Romero ever going to harm us by playing against us? Probably not. It's going to be Edison, so doesn't really make much of a difference to us. So we are now ninth in the Premier League. This is much better than being 15th, I'll be honest, but it's still not good enough. That defeat to Watford still really pisses me off because, like, that's a game we should have won. But anyways, we've now got Brighton away from home. Ronaldo is in good form. Our first team is fit. Let's try and get all three points in this one as well. As we did win our previous league game 5-1, doesn't make sense to change any tactics. Everyone is fully fit, so this is the team that we are going for. Ronaldo, Rashford, all starting in a 4-4-2. Let's get those three points. Ronaldo once again sees Anthony Martial. Chance for the Frenchman to score. Gets the shots off and this is too easy, guys. The 4-4-2 is a formation that makes goal scoring a joke. It's, it's literally too easy to score goals with this formation. And in under six minutes, we've taken the lead against Brighton. Ronaldo this time turning provider. Here goes Dembele on the attack. Go on. Good chance for us, guys. Cross coming in. Ronaldo with the bicycle kick. Imagine if that would have gone in, guys. That would have definitely been goal of the season, but just wasn't to be. Saul wins the ball back in a great position. Finds Cristiano Ronaldo, who shoots first time, and it's too easy with Ronaldo, who scores his sixth goal in the Premier League, and, and it's only been like three games so far. Saul, the provider, celebrating with Ronaldo for that one. Have a look at that goal again. He, of course, wins the ball back. Plays in a fabulous pass and he hits it first time as well. Ronaldo's finishing is just insane. He may not have the pace he had a few years ago, but his finishing ability is insane. That's the best way to put it. Cristiano Ronaldo now in behind to Anthony Martial. Here we go, guys. The Frenchman on the attack. Chips the keeper. And that is beautiful from Anthony Martial, who scores his second of the game. Ronaldo again, the provider for this one. But that finish from Martial was just gorgeous. We need to have a look at the replay for this one. A good through ball to Anthony Martial, who taps it forward and then does this. Oh my god, that's just perfection from Martial. And there you go, guys. That is full time and we get ourselves our second win this season. Ronaldo again shining with a goal and two assists. But Martial was fantastic as well with a brace in this one. And his second goal was particularly amazing so there you go three points in the bag and an important win for us away from home not bad guys we definitely have recovered from that shocking defeat to Watford at the start of the season we're now in fifth place hopefully next episode we can get some big wins and of course move up the table Cristiano is just balling out right now for us in the Prem. Six goals in three games. That's just crazy, guys. So it seems like up next, instead of Man City, we've got Sheffield United. So that game is going to be in today's episode. We'll have the Manchester Derby in the next one. So again, Sheffield, I will be rotating the squad to rest our players for sure. Here we go, guys. Carabao Cup action. So this is a tournament last season we couldn't win. We lost in the early rounds. I would love to win the Carabao Cup this season. Our youngsters now are a lot better better in terms of their overall so it might actually be possible this is the team that i'm putting forward greenwood leading the line ja felix starts chong starts lingard captaining the side dean henderson making his man united debut for us in this series it's a strong team let's get the win ball play through into jesse lingard and he smashes it in what a finish from the englishman he's captaining the team now and he scores a great goal for us best possible way to start the carabao cup 1-0 advantage. Mason Greenwood in behind to Jao Felix and here we go on the attack. Go on Felix, could cross this one into Chong. That's a decent delivery, it's Chong with the header and a simple header from him puts us into a 2-0 advantage. An assist for Jao Felix 
and a fabulous finish there from Chong. Let's take a look at that goal again. Was a brilliant cross from the Portuguese man and the finish was really calm and collected. Chance for our opponent, Supamecano blocks it and that's a fantastic save from Dean Henderson. He's making his debut in this series and he's proving to be a good player, guys. I'm glad we are going to use him instead of Sergio Romero this season. He's a homegrown player, if I'm not wrong, so... It's good. It's all round very good for the club. Some neat football here from Sheffield United. They might have a chance here. Dean Henderson again. Good save from him. Sheffield really trying to get a goal to, you know, maybe get something back. And there you go. That's the goal for Sheffield United. They've got themselves their consolation goal. It's full time and we are through to the next round of the Carabao Cup. It was a convincing performance. Yes, we did concede a goal late on, but overall it was a good performance from the team. Defensively, we were pretty good up until that mistake towards the end. And of course, going forwards, we were decent. Chong was impressive. Our keeper was actually very impressive as well, so can't complain. Not gonna lie, I really like this attitude from Dean Henderson. He's happy with the chance we've given him. On the other hand, Romero last season was just complaining all season long. So already Dean Henderson seeming to be the better player to manage. So there you go, Sergio Romero has been sold to Manchester City. We get an additional £7 million to spend. Let's check our transfer budget now. It should be something insane. £130 million and if we now need to make any transfers, we can do so in the January transfer window. For this window, I'm pretty happy with how our team is. I mean, look at this side, guys. It's absolutely unreal. We've got a good backup squad as well. No need to make any more transfers this window for sure. Next episode though, we've got the transfer deadline day. We'll see if any action happens. And also Manchester Derby. And apart from all that, our very first Champions League game of the season. We'll find out what our group is. So it should be a ton of fun, that's for sure. We've actually made some pretty good progress with our season goals in today's episode. Ronaldo scoring 6 in the Premier League already has really helped us with the record breaker challenge. And also that loss we took in the Premier League, thankfully it was away from home and not at Old Trafford. Only one clean sheet is a bit disappointing but hopefully we'll improve going forwards. 6 appearances for our youngsters age 20 or below. Not bad thanks to of course the Carabao Cup. Of course Champions League is yet to start and also 6 goal contributions from our friends players so far can't complain with this progress before we end off the episode you guys need to vote for your inform player of the episode and of course cristiano ronaldo is gonna get nominated he scored six goals in the premier league in today's episode he's an absolute monster guys and definitely worthy of the nomination the second nominee is gonna be anthony marcial who had a fantastic game away from home against brighton scoring a brace you guys can decide which player was your player of the episode by clicking the i button on the top right of your screen and there you go guys that's that for today's episode next episode we've got a lot of action the champions league draw games against man city transfer deadline day so definitely should be fun and if you guys enjoyed it today's career mode episode drop a like in the video let's try and hit 1000 likes once again your support on this series is incredible and i can't thank you all enough Subscribe for more FIFA 19 career mode content and I shall see you guys next time.